Hi, <laughs> golly, folks, they're giggling already and they don't know what the heck's going to happen. Right, your first name? Debbie. What a memory. <laughs> now, and your name's Andy. Andy, are you? Well, don't stand too close to her then. Right. <laughs> OK, Debbie, first of all, I want you to look at this, if you would. This is a lump of steel with two holes in it. I know they're holes because they go right through from one side to the other. Otherwise, they would be dense. <laughs> you know the difference? Yep. Of course you do. I've seen your car. Now, listen. <laughs> Hold that in front of you, my love, and look at it. Now she's looking at it. And she's thinking, what is he going to put through those two holes? <laughs> Now, you, sir, I want you to examine it. But it's thin steel. Don't bend it, whatever you do. But make sure the holes are for real, with no splits, no cracks, nothing dodgy, nothing peculiar. But don't bend it. While, Debbie, I showed you the carrying case for that steel blade. This is a little case. Okay. It's a bit like the Dartford Tunnel, you see, <laughs> all right? One of them's always shut. Right. Now, is that all right? Yes. A nice, bright blade, and the holes are for real. If you drop this into the top, ladies and gentlemen, it slides straight the way down. In other words, whatever is in the holes is in the way, which is where these two come in and where one of them could go out. <laughs> Debbie, your left hand under there, love. That's it. Move over here. And, sir, your right hand under there. Tremendous. <laughs> Lovely. Hold it between you. Okay. That's great. This way, just a little. Now, get steady and put your hands through the holes. <laughs> bit more, bit more. I want the watch. Right, now then. <laughs> now, tell me, can you feel the blade pulling up on you? Yes. Well, take your hands out, you silly things. Come on, now then. <laughs> OK, now this time, slightly differently. Hold it as steady as you can. Now, I'm going to raise the blade up and wedge it to one side. Oh, hold it steady now. Wedge it slowly. Now then, hands back carefully with your fingers straight out in front. But don't shake it or wobble it. Straight out. And you. Waggle your fingers. You can't later. <laughs> Touch hands. Pack it up. There's no need for that. Now, both of you, let your hands go like first thing in the morning. <laughs> I bet he's early for work on a Monday. <laughs> now, is he? <laughs> now, then. Handcuffs, my darling. Don't wriggle, cos these will get tight. This is to stop the hands rolling about on the floor. We'll keep them together. <laughs> Are you ready for this? Right. Now, this is exciting. This has never gone wrong. Because I've never done it before. <laughs> How would you like it, quick or slow? <laughs> Both of you? <laughs> hey? Both hands will drop off at the same time. Here we go, then. Hold tight and down! Did you feel anything? Of course not, it's a trick. <laughs> it's one of these mechanical, boring loads of nonsenses. <laughs> but lovely friends, I want to show you something. You may have seen these sort of things, but never ever have you seen one come completely to pieces. Look, there is the front. It is a piece of wood. There is the back, Debbie. That's another piece of wood. Would you raise your two hands up in the air? Drop the bottom into my hands. All this is is two pieces of wood. Look at the state of them, and what about that? Look at them there. Hold it up. Let them see what you've done. <laughs> well, I hope you'll both be very happy together. Um, <laughs> what's it worth to find the key, Debbie? <laughs> and you, sir, what's it worth not to find the key? <laughs> you, my love, if you are drinking tonight, please do hold the glass in two hands, because it may have weakened your wrist. <laughs> you, sir, I don't know what you do left-handed, but do nothing for two weeks, all right? <laughs> I give them both an enormous round of applause. There they are, then.